the cider so along, which is also known as stars for Carter, which is the name of the actual pattern. Um, I'd hold it up. I guess I can. I've got it full of fabric I've cut. All right, so this is what we're working on. Hopefully you're in the right sew along for the day. <laughs> or maybe you're doing multiple today like me. Um, so welcome to this. If you bought the kit, it's very simple. Uh, hopefully you read my recommendation to make a color chart of the fabrics just because the four grunge neutrals start to kind of look the same in the diagrams of the blocks as you go along. So for me, um, I didn't do it and I was regretting that I didn't have a color chart to match those things. So that is my recommendation so that you don't have to keep flipping back and forth going, is this the white grunge? Is that the white grunge with gray? Just make your life easy, okay? Um, we're going to work with block one today. The tools I'm using today are my four and a half by eight and a half creative grid and my four and a half inch square creative grid and oh and like a five and a half a five inch or six and a half inch square forgot need that one too also for trimming uh one of the steps so um the directions for block one i don't like what else is new uh i don't like the idea of cross cutting squares and creating all that bias and then putting them back together i like to simplify if i can so Here's things to note. All the cutting of the fabric is the same. It actually works out even doing my method, okay? So don't freak out if you've already started cutting. It all works out great, okay? Um, but I am not doing how the book says it. You can follow what the book says. The instructions are simple. So I didn't feel that we needed me to show you that method because um, I'm going to encourage you all to do my method instead. So. Uh, this is what the block will look like. It's so pretty. I love this guy. Okay, in the end. So, put that aside. And I'm going to move the camera down so I can show you uh, what's going on and how I created those star units. Because that's the main piece, is you're making those, what I call a quarter square triangle, and then they turn into the stars. All right? So, let's move you down. Trying to not make you nauseous. Okay, so the beginning steps, we have these two color squares. Do not cross cut. Just don't do that, okay guys? Skip that step. Just lay the two on top of each other and we're going to start out with making half square units, okay? So if you haven't done them this way, uh, you're going to do this a lot in this book. Uh, most of the patterns uh, just use this half square triangle method to make the units. Uh, so it's going to go very quick and easily. Okay, so draw one diagonal line. You're then going to sew down both sides. Okay, so I'm going to run to my machine real quick. And I'm just doing quarter inch on either side of the line and I'll show you. Doing it kind of quick and simple. All right, so this is our unit. So I have my line and your seam is quarter inch from either side, okay? This is the most basic way to make two half square triangles out of one set of squares, okay? So you take them apart, and we're going to press them and they magically look like this. Ta -da! We love sewing magic. Okay. And then what you'll do, trim it down to five inches because that's the next step is you're working with five inch squares. Okay. So it's going to be a little bit bigger, which is what I like with my half square triangle units because I like the ability to trim them down and not have to worry about whether or not my seam was perfect. Okay. Then we're going to add a background unit. We're going to pick the pen, not the rotary cutter to start with. <laughs> we hope. Draw a diagonal line on the wrong side again. Okay. Now I want you to see my diagonal line is going this way. I'm going to line it up on top of it so that the diagonal seam line essentially is going to go through the middle. All right. 
That is an important piece. If you turn it and sew, you're going to get these guys. That's not what you want. So make sure your drawn diagonal line is intersecting this seam. We're using big words, not successfully. All right, so that way when you're done, you'll get what looks like this. Okay, so I'll go, I'll sew it real quick. Same thing, quarter inch seam on both sides. Uh, I use a normal stitch length of a 2.5 if you're curious. And then, actually I'll leave it on the machine because then magically they look like this. Ta-da! Okay, so you have your quarter square triangle. So you have your two blue colors and your background color, and it's going to be a little bit big. And you want your final result to be this guy, a nice clean one without the little dog ears, okay? So I'm gonna show you my trick. Because we're not just working with this diagonal, we also have this line that we want to try to keep pretty much in the middle, right guys? So let's see if I can get you even closer to me. Because this is the important piece in the final step of making it all pretty, right guys? So it's a little bit bigger. Four and a half is our final measurement that we want this block to be. Okay, so I start out with my main diagonal line and my four and a half square on this diagonal. Okay. If you're using a bigger square, that's okay. You're just going to stay in that upper four and a half corner of your ruler. Because the next thing is I want to make sure that this 90 degree line from this seam is right here on this point. So I'm going to scoot my ruler just a little bit. I can scoot it either way as long as I don't keep an eye over here. Make sure you don't go off the block itself or this way. <laughs> You want to keep pretty much in the center of this block, but get this point to line up as best you can. That way, when everything comes together, you aren't accidentally cutting this diagonal in the wrong direction. So, once I get my main diagonal on my main diagonal line of my ruler, and this one at that point, I then just trim up two sides, and then turn around, and then I can just trim it because I've already done all my lining up. So now I just make sure the two sides I just trimmed are on the left and the bottom because I'm right-handed, and then trim. There's not much to trim left on there, just essentially the little dog ears. I didn't quite get that guy right on the point. Nice and clean, and that's what you're going to end up with. Okay, then it just comes down to laying it out and sewing everything together. So now, understand, for every set, you're essentially getting a right and a left-hand side. So this will be important, is that you're gonna keep those pairs together and essentially sew them together. Because if you just make a big old jumbled pile of them, you may accidentally get two right-hand sides that you try to put together. And that's um, not what you wanna do. So make sure you have your light blue. It's going to be on the bottom when you start matching these up and you're essentially kind of making a flying geese unit. So keep the light blue on the bottom, dark blue on the sides, match them right sides together. So your quarter inch seam, make all those units and then lay them out so they look like the block. We'll move the camera. So I'm not sewing everything because you guys don't need to sit around and actually watch me sew. Um, the instructions are really simple. The block is really pretty easy, but there you go. So there's that flying geese unit with the light blue on the bottom. Making sure you keep those dark blue on the sides to make those nice bright points in that star. So, all right, so you make these units. You're going to sew one on the left and the right of this big block. You're going to add these corners to these units and then just start putting that to the top and one to the bottom and you're ready to go. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, any of you that are like super new to sewing and this is your first jump in, just let me know. I can walk you through anything. I just I hate to bore you guys with some of the more basic steps. I knew um, just making these units was the super important piece of today. So if you're new, new and really need uh, more help getting through just every step, 
just let me know. I'll gladly do it. Uh, we can do our own little private session or whatever, do a little video together, and we can even sit and sew together if you want. I'm just trying to not trap you all day with me. So hopefully you love this. You're going to make two of these blocks, okay? So make two of them for this quilt. That's pretty much how it's going to go throughout the entire session of all the blocks is you're going to make two of everything, and then we're going to put them all together in the end. So cutting, you can go through and cut everything, which is what I did. I just got it all cut out, ready to go. So each week, I can just do the next block, and we can just keep going. I am doing this weekly because the blocks are pretty simple. So I figure, let's get this guy done. You know, we like quilts that are finished um, and not drag it out for like almost three quarters of a year. So this one is a weekly. Every week, I'm just going to come do these videos. They're going to sit here for you in Facebook, and um, I'll put them on YouTube. So if anything, you can go to the Quilting Mayhem YouTube channel and find the video there later on once I get it moved over out of Facebook. Um, and that way, if you miss a week or whatever, you can catch up anytime. It'll be easy. Uh, and then by the end of three months with me, we'll have an entire quilt. If you aren't using the kit, um, just assign your fabrics, sign them to the color chart. Um, or if you're picking as you go, pick as you go. That's great too. If you're using up scraps and stuff, that's great. Um, these instructions are fabulous. I've been through all the blocks. Everything works. Not found an error. So you can go forth, cut with confidence um, that you'll just be ready. And each week we can just sit and sew together. And like I said, most of them are half square triangle units. So we're going to get through this one hopefully pain free, pretty, pretty easily. Um, if the group decides you want me to move a little faster, we can talk about moving a little faster since I have gone through all the blocks. We can go whatever speed you want. If we have issues or hiccups, we can always slow it down too. We can be flexible, but you guys just let me know. If I see everybody's got their blocks posted long before the next video, we may, you know, jump it up a little and keep you guys going because I don't want to lose you. I want to make sure we get to the end, okay guys? So grab your friction pens, your rulers, get ready to go. In this block, it's not going to take you any time at all. So if you have questions, call me, email me, uh, message me on Facebook, all, all those options. Pick one, reach out to me. I'll gladly help you. Otherwise, post your block. Show how you're doing. I love to see what's going on. And other than that, have a fabulous Friday and keep on stitching.